Hi, this is Asa, and welcome to my audio experience. In your life, go to the website if you're looking for help with your life and with your health. Remember, our health is our greatest wealth. So the choices we make every single day, they can and will determine the kind of health we're going to have tomorrow. So everybody gets stuck. So you start dealing with certain health challenges, diabetes or depression, heart disease, whatever it is. And I get questions constantly, emails, you tweet me, it messages on in, uh, comments on Instagram, all of the different aspects of social media. And, and people always have one resounding question. It's, it's, can I get well? Can I be better even though the doctors diagnosed me with this condition or can I thrive again or can I really make it? The answer is yes. Because if the body can get sick, it can also get well. So that's the choice we have every single day is to decide what kind of choices we're going to make. We're going to exercise or are we not? You're going to lay in bed and do nothing? Or are you going to get your rear end up and go make something happen? Are you going to eat well? Or are you going to eat junk all day? Because you can't eat junk and expect to be healthy. In your 20s and 30s, you feel like you're getting away with it. I have a conversation with a guy the other day, and he is di- he's in 40s. He's in mid-40s. He's already had a heart attack. He has uh, two stents in his heart. He's, he's 20, uh, 30 pounds overweight. It, uh, diabetes, uh, me, uh, uh, high cholesterol medications. So triglycerides are high. So typical metabolic syndrome plus that heart attack in his mid-40s. And what he said to me was really interesting. He said, I just don't get it, Doc. He said, I've been, I feel like I've been doing pretty well as far as my eating goes over the last year. I've really made some changes. See, that's the thinking that we all have. We think that what you were doing six months ago is putting your body where it is now. The deposits that you were making in your health 10 years ago is showing up right now. So whatever you're going through now is going to show up in the next decade. Remember, our body moves in tens typically. So it takes about, they say, it takes about 10 years for a cancer to form that could typically take you out. So one of the keys we have to look at and we have to think about is that our choices that we make cumulatively day in and day out is what's going to determine our health later on. So that's a big key with all that we deal with. So I just want to encourage you that what you do now is going to determine the health you have tomorrow. And it doesn't mean you have to wait 10 years to enjoy that. I mean, you can have good energy in two days from changing your eating habits and exercising better. But it comes down to you. I mean, I can't do it for you. That's the key. I think any of us in the healthcare field that care about the behavioral side, want to see change and, and give you practical tips and tools to be able to make it. I mean, we want to help, but we can't go beat the door down and make you do it yourself. You have to take responsibility for your health and your life. I mean, that's really just the key. It is what it is. 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. American Pharmacy Company brings us our email I want to bring to you. So American Pharmacy Company, if you haven't checked them out, go check out the website. I'm telling you, they're one of the leading natural pharmacies with diabetes supplies, but they actually compound creams. Their pharmacists do that are completely natural. They help with migraine headaches. They have one that works on pain with neuropathy like I've never seen before. I mean, it's amazing. They've also got one that helps with male and female libido and sexual function. And it's completely natural, and it's a cream. It's a compounded cream. So they do it. They they take insurance. It's hardly any money out of pocket, I believe. It's very, very inexpensive. So you should give them a call. Go to AmericanPharmacyCompany.com. That's AmericanPharmacyCompany.com. They're great friends of mine. They do great work. They ship all over the country. We're partnering with them on some projects that you'll hear about coming up. Pretty exciting. But Jim in Oklahoma City says, in the last few months, I've had several bouts with shingles. He wants to know, is there any way to prevent this? Shingles, you've got to think about it. It's the herpes zoster virus. So it's a virus that was already typically in your body up to this point. And stress typically brings that on. And it's got to be a high level of stress. That's why you see people get shingles when they go through maybe a death of a spouse or a major financial collapse, loss of a business, maybe a a loss of a child or whatever it might be. People see that and they go through tough times in life and it's when shingles hits. So what do you do? Well, there's antiviral medications 
and cyclovir, and cyclovir. I mean, there's there's medications your physician can put you on, and they work. And I'm kind of a fan of those. And people say, "Oh my goodness, I didn't think you liked to use a whole lot of medicine." Well, I'm I really right down the middle because there's time where medicine is actually a miracle for a lot of people. So if you if you think about it, when you're when you're hit with shingles, the last thing you want to do is go do a bunch of l lysine and hope for the best. I mean, it hurt. If you never had it, you don't understand. I mean, this is not a little blister on your lip, okay? This is, I mean, massive, massive burning that happens. And so the antivirals come in, and they work very rapidly to get that down. So I'm a big fan of that. So if you get shingles, go to your doctor. So is there a way to prevent shingles? Now, L-lysine is a really good one. It's an amino acid. Get it at a health food store. Real simple. And then there are certain foods that contain L-arginine that you want to be cautious with. Okay, I don't mean not eliminate it, but things like almonds and chocolate. It's like, I mean, those are good foods, and dark chocolate has a lot of health benefits. I get that. But you just want to be cautious with that because there, there's a whole list of L-arginine-based foods. Go to the website, and you'll see that. But arginine-based foods really, really cause quite the challenge in the body. And, and again, they'll flare up any kind of viral activity or have the potential to anyway. That's where you have to be a little bit careful. 888 You're listening to On Call. Check us out on the web. If you haven't found a lifestyle provider, someone in your area that believes the same way we do, all this nutrition and lifestyle-based care we talk about, just go to the website. You'll find it there. Have people coach you and take you to where you need to be. All right, go to the phones. Let's talk to Diane. Hi, Diane. Last year, they put a plate and nine screws in my leg. The fractures went into the knee joint. I'm told I'm eventually going to have to have total knee replacement. I'm wondering, I'm taking um, glucosamine. I'm wondering if if that's doing any good and if brand, if the different brands matter or if any, any glucosamine would help well the glucosamine has been used for for quite some time and it has benefits to it but i I just think there's better products out there and you've got to look at your diet because a supplement is not going to correct everything okay that's everybody thinks the miracle pill will correct it now we'll tell you one that's fantastic is amino active but it works in a different way it doesn't mask the condition you go to aminoactive.com but amino actives used for amino acids, which are proteins, and then ho- certain homeopathics that are non-addictive to the body and actually help to rebuild the area. You want to get rid of the inflammation from the digestive tract. So the foods you eat every single day, that's what matters. So you have to do that. And we actually can construct plans for you based around that. If you go to the website, you'll find out more information about that. There's kind of a free way of doing that. You'll see it right there. But remember, we are what we eat, and inflammation always starts in the gut. Want to turn back the clock 15 years and have more energy? This is Dr. Rasa telling you to just breathe with Livo2. Livo2 delivers the right amount of oxygen we need for optimal health. Go to Livo2.com. That's Livo2.com. And, of course, we've been working diligently for different campaigns. Physicians have, certain um, organizations have, of course, as well. American Cancer Society is, is one for sure. But cigarette smoking continues to decline, which is great news. After about half of American states, according to the latest U.S. government estimates, but despite the good news, rates have gone up in some states. And in other states, a more worrisome trend has emerged. People using a combination of tobacco products, such as the vapor products, and from 2011 to 2013, there's been some progress back in the day 
for cigarette smoking overall. There hasn't been a significant change in cigarette smoking because of the shifting over to the vapor. It's still nicotine. And it's going after our young people. It's targeting our young people. Matter of fact, there's a lot on the table right now that's being looked at for the marketing against that and what it's, you know, how it's, it's just another way of going after our young people and, and still giving them such an addictive substance to be hooked on. Smokeless tobacco rates have increased dramatically in certain states, specifically West Virginia, New Mexico, Nevada, Idaho, and Delaware have increased quite a bit. There's proven ways to get people to quit using tobacco. They include increasing the price of tobacco, enacting smoke-free laws, and media campaigns to expose the dangers of tobacco and the benefits of quitting, they explain. There's kind of like one of those things. They spent, oh, check this out. There's $25 billion in total revenue that they're collecting on profits from tobacco. So the FDA needs to bite the bullet, they say. This is what uh, some of the regulatory folks have said. They need to, to issue a final regulation on e-cigarettes. Right now, everything's just kind of in flux. But uh, assumingly, I guess what's on the table right now, the FDA and, and regulatory agencies are looking at what they can do in their final stance and their final say of what that's going to be. And I hope they do because our young people are suffering for it. I mean, at the end of the day, how cool it used to be to have a certain cigarette. You used to see the cowboys back in the 50s and 30s in the movies and everybody smoked, right? And it was it was the cool thing. And so everybody smoked. But now all these vapor units and just puff and smoke everywhere is technically cool. So it's got to become not cool because it's still nicotine. So, again, everybody's looking for the workaround. 888-283-7272. You're listening to On Call. What are you doing for your health? That's the question. So you listen to the show. You're excited. You're engaged in the show. Are you getting with us on social media? Have you hooked up with us? Make sure to go there. Check us out on the web. Go to Twitter, Facebook. Go to the website. Get connected. And all this, we've got new uh, newsletters that are coming out each week. I've got videos that I'm posting in those, teaching videos, little clips that you can use to coach you each and every day. It's, it's, it's powerful. So you need to get hooked, connected with us. It's important. People say, well, I just, you know, I just don't have the motivation. We are your motivation. Here we are every single day to kick you in your blessed assurance and make it happen. Because no one else is going to do this for you. You have to take responsibility for your health. So stop sitting there and eating donuts. And let's make it happen. All right, let's go to Nathan right now on the phone. Hi, Nathan. I'm calling about uh, internal ear itch. What's good for it? If your ear is constantly itching in the inside, and if you get a little white flaking that comes off of it, it's pretty common. You've actually got excess yeast built up in the body, typically. Okay, and that's kind of a naturopathic uh, alternative thought behind that. Yeast builds up in the digestive tract. It, it just it's the wrong having the wrong kind of bacteria, not enough of the good bacteria, which are called probiotics. And so you can use probiotics to help build up the good healthy bacteria. You want to cut out a lot of the sugars from the diet, even fruit juice. I mean, a lot of the fructose fruit sugar, you want to cut out that as well, and that can make a big difference. So it's just about getting the right kind of foods coming in to get the body to function at its at its best level. I mean, that is really the absolute key and if you do that of course you start clearing out the gut you clear out so much within the body it makes a huge difference and that's what i try to get people to understand it makes a big difference 888-283-7272 that's 888-283-7272 lines are open let's go to isaac hey isaac i have a tremor a slight tremor in mm-hmm. my hands normally i inherited it from my mom and my kids have inherited it from me. Um, when the adrenaline level rises, for normal reasons, usually the tremor becomes a little more intense. Uh, the doctor put me on a beta blocker for a couple of months, and that seemed to help a little bit, but uh, didn't really resolve it. Uh, that prescription has run out, so I haven't taken that now for over a week. But um, it's not a bad thing, but I'm a pastor, and when I hold a microphone or something like that, uh, people get a little nervous when they see my twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. That's for sure. I don't know if it's a twitch or if it's the Holy Ghost, right? So when when you're dealing with something like the tremor, 
there, there, it, it, can it be passed down genetically? It can, but genetics are 10 to 15% of the equation, okay? So the question is, are your neurotransmitters balanced, your brain chemicals? I mean, are they to have the right nutrition? You're getting the right types of vitamins and minerals that they need. Sometimes they can be deficient. And if they're deficient, then that's when it can start causing some of these challenges, really. So I would, I would look at that first, and that's really a, a big key. All right, so we need to look at that. And, and get your physician. They can do some blood work or check and see if there's any kind of nutritional deficiencies. I mean, that's always a good way to go first. And then the other thing you want to do is is to make sure your eating habits are right. Plenty of fats in your diet, good healthy fats, almonds, walnuts, cashews, avocados. Those are the healthy fats. And getting the right kind of fats in on a regular basis can make a big difference. Your body needs it. Your brain needs it. Your body needs it. Your hormones need it. And your brain chemistry needs it as well. So when you get the right kind of balance within your diet, making sure you cut out the junk, make sure you get the the right kind of nutrition going, that's what balances everything out. I mean, something so simple as a vitamin B6 deficiency could cause issues within the neurotransmitters. So just something to think about as you walk through this. But I wouldn't be discouraged and think, well, it's just passed down. It is what it is. You do need to go to your physician to get checked out. Let them run the battery of tests. But a lot of times it comes down to nutrition. We'll be right back. Did you know that you can listen to the Asa RX audio experience on Spotify and Pandora? For all the ways to watch and listen, check out our show page at asarx.com slash experience. To find out more, visit the show online, inshapenetwork.com. Lines are open, 888 Welcome back to the show. Check us out on the web. If you haven't checked us out yet there, go check it out. Plus, we've got our lifestyle providers, healthcare providers in your area that believe the same way we do. All this nutrition and lifestyle-based care we talk about, I mean, they're there, and we're partnering with people all around the country. So if you want someone that really can take you by the hand, help you go to that next level with your health and with your life, that is what we have the lifestyle providers for, powerful tools to be able to help you empower your health. Well, our food that we're going to talk about today, remember food can bring health to the body or it takes health out of the body. So it's powerful. And the choices we make each day, whether you eat burgers and fries or you eat baked chicken and broccoli, make a big difference. The body doesn't know the difference, but we do. And so we have to put the right kind of foods in. By the way, if you haven't checked out our television show, check it out. Go to our website. You can actually find out the listings in your area where they carry it. We're going to be uh, posting it to the web as well. So if you don't have it in your area, you can still catch the show each day. You can catch our YouTube account. We're going to be posting it on that coming up. So stay on top of that. Plus our podcast. If you don't have the podcast, go check it out. It's at the website. The link is there. It's a fresh new show every single day coming up. So you want to check that out. We'll be launching that soon. All right, cucumbers are what we're talking about. Now, when you talk about alkaline Diets. If you ever heard anybody talk about the word alkaline, like what does that mean? Well, the body can be alkaline or acidic. So think about a line down the middle. All right, you've heard about probably heard about alkaline water at this point. So when when the when the body is more alkaline, they say and the theory is that cancer can't live in an alkaline environment. But if you get too alkaline, you also get constipated. So I mean, it's a six one half dozen. If you're too acidic, cancer thrives in an acidic environment. And your energy levels go down when you're acidic. So you want to shoot for that middle ground. Now, here's the deal. The body has an amazing mechanism, buffering, we call it. The buffering mechanism kind of balances everything out. So the body has this way of balancing everything out naturally. So even when we eat certain foods, the body can help balance and and counterbalance areas, which is a great thing. It's a great tool for us. But there are certain foods that can lean us into that alkaline side, which is a good thing. If you slightly get over that way, your energy levels go up. 
uh, cancer has a, a, a tougher time surviving in that environment, and we can thrive a lot better. Cucumbers are one of the ultimate alkaline foods, and that's what we're talking about today. And they're so easy. I mean, you add it in your diet, put it in your salads, cut them up and, and have them with any kind of meal. Amazing. So they've got all kinds of benefits. Flavonoids are loaded with those. And, of course, antioxidant protection for our bodies. Remember, an antioxidant, our body, free radicals. Have you ever heard of free radicals? Free radicals come in and they oxidize our cells. Cucumbers are a valuable source of conventional antioxidants. They've got what's called quercetin in them and campophenol, which is amazing. They help to support the body with COX-2 and prevents the overproduction of nitric oxide where it can increase the likelihood of excessive inflammation. And anti-cancer benefits, too, are really, really strong. So there's a lot of research on anti-cancer benefits in cucumbers, more on the alkaline side. Remember, we talked about that. And there's a lot of hope that researchers are saying that can lead to the development of new anti-cancer drugs based on the studies in cucumbers. That is amazing. See, so much. And did you know that a lot of the drugs that have been developed today were based on the what we call mechanism of action? That's how they saw a food work in the body. They took that mechanism process of how that worked and they developed medications that were stronger than that process to help certain situations. Uh, statin drugs is one of them. They looked at red yeast rice and they looked at the mechanism of how that worked and then they developed the drug. So all kinds of that has been, it's happened for years and years and years. So it's amazing to see something natural like cucumbers that can do so much. So anyway, the cucumbers themselves are, they have a lot of phytonutrients with anti-cancer, but they also have prebiotics that help to support healthy gut bacteria, which is really, really interesting. And a lot of the cancers that they've done studies on have been linked to breast, ovarian, uterus, and prostate cancer. So just from the lignans and and the nutrients from from the cucumber, they've noticed a major difference in people's overall health. Pretty amazing. So grab some cucumbers, cut them up in a salad, make them a part of your daily routine. You're listening to On Call. Check us out on the web, 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. Give us a call. Your lifestyle is everything. And so remember that our lifestyle choices will determine the kind of health we're going to have. You don't have to be stuck where you are. So if you've been diagnosed with diabetes or heart disease or fibromyalgia or whatever it is, if you've been diagnosed with a health challenge, you don't have to stay there and you don't have to be stuck there. That if you start making new choices, eating better, exercising more, thinking better, which is a big deal, 85% of the root cause of all disease, the CDC said is rooted in our emotional health and toxins. Pretty powerful. So the way we think does matter. And so we can change our health in so many different ways if we're up to overcoming some of our lifestyle habits and really making a difference in our daily routine. Let's go to the phones and talk to Mary. Hi, Mary. Calling because I'm um, having, you know, uh, issues with trying to lose weight, and one of my issues is with my belly and my thighs. And I've always, because I've always been told that after you've had children, it's almost impossible to lose weight in your midsection. But I don't know if it, if it is possible to do that, and how I can go about doing that. If I change the way I eat and exercise, will that happen? Can I lose the weight? in my belly, and in my thighs. Well, first things first, remember everything's possible when it comes to health. So if it's possible for you to gain 40 pounds, you didn't just gain 40 pounds, right? That took some work. And and that's what we have to look at. I mean, so to lose weight, even in the midsection, it can be done. But there has to be a strategy that, that gets into play. And you want to make sure that yeah, you're, you're doing the right thing. So first things first, you got to know your body, right? You got to know your body chemistry, know what it is. Getting lab work done to figure out what your nutritional deficiencies are. I mean, what's the baseline? What's the starting point? Where are we? Where are we after eating for 40 years? I'm sorry, for, for, for the last two years and gaining 40 pounds, all that junk food, what has it done to my body? What's my baseline? What nutritional deficiencies do I have or what do I not? Because with estrogen, for example, you've got three major types of estrogen. You've got estrone, estradiol, and estriol. These are the estrogens that can deposit extra fat around the mid- midsection and just make it sit there. So those are hormones. So our hormones can affect how much fat sits on our midsection. That's the bottom line. 
So what do we do? I mean, we have to figure out exactly what our body needs. So that's why lab work's important. Now, eating habits are going to be important too. Here's the key. A lot of carbohydrates can make you fat. Not enough fat can make you fat. Too much fat, the good kind, omega-3, 6s, and 9s, won't make you fat. So our body actually needs healthy fats to function. You give somebody a ton of healthy fats and watch them lose weight. It just works. And there's a lot of calories in that. However, the body thrives on it. And if you're not hammering your body with a bunch of carbohydrates, then you can lose the weight. Now, you can lose weight eating carbohydrates as well if it's the right kind. Fibrous, rich carbohydrates like beans, peas. Those are really good. Sweet potatoes, brown rice, vegetables. But you start getting into a lot of sugar and the higher glycemic breads, pastas, cereals, crackers, white potatoes, white rice, all that sort of thing. You'll start packing on the pounds. So you got to be cautious with those kind of carbs, especially if you're looking to drop the pounds because it's all about managing managing that blood sugar levels. Okay, so that's a big key. So if you want to drop that belly fat, focus on your estrogens. I get some blood work done. Check it out. Get your doctor to look at it and keep me posted. Triple eight two eight three seven two seven two. That's triple eight two eight three seven two seven two. You're listening to On Call. Check us out on the web. If you haven't joined us. On social media, you get the Twitter, Facebook. Make sure to shoot us some things. Tweet us, comment, post, whatever you want to do. We interact with you, and we want to help you. So if you miss us on the show, you're driving down the road, and you don't have time to ask a question, go to the website, go to one of our social media outlets, and you can ask those questions, and we'll be able to respond and help you go to that next level. And if you're looking for a lifestyle provider, folks, we have doctors, healthcare providers that get it that understand what you're looking for to build a new lifestyle plan. So when you don't understand, it's kind of like they work hand in hand a lot of times with your primary care. So you leave the doctor's office, you get two new medications, and they say eat better and exercise. And you're like, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. And you leave and you're like, okay, well, now what do I do? I have no idea what working out is, and I think – Eating healthy is eating broccoli. So that's about it. Or you think eating healthy is eating French fries because they're potatoes. Not good. All right. So you got to have somebody take you by the hand, give you a plan so you get it and you understand it. That is the key. Because the reality is when it comes down to eating healthy and it comes down to getting your body where it needs to be, there are certain keys and foundations that can make your body absolutely melt fat like a furnace. There's a lot of diet books out there. But when you look at the body and the way it works, there are some keys and some secrets that if you apply them to your life, you can drop the fat, melt the fat, get your body functioning well again, have energy levels like you've never had before, and begin to thrive again. Certain principles, certain secrets that you have to follow. And if you do, you'll do well, and you'll have great health. If you don't follow them, then things won't happen so great for you. 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. You're listening to On Call. Check us out on the web. Remember, there's hope for better health. It's all about the choices we make every single day. Coming up, I've got more questions about your health. Plus, I've got some tips you don't want to miss. We're going to talk a little bit more about weight loss and fat loss, but also brain chemistry and brain health, which is a big topic like ADHD and depression. We'll be right back. Want to turn back the clock 15 years and have more energy? This is Dr. Rasa telling you to just breathe with LiveO2. LiveO2 delivers the right amount of oxygen we need for optimal health. Go to LiveO2.com. That's LiveO2.com. Connect with On Call Radio and watch On Call TV at InShapeNetwork.com. Whatever you're struggling with, remember, if the body can get sick, it can also get well. It's about lifestyle. So the choices we make every single day 
can and will determine the kind of health we're going to have tomorrow. It's about thriving. It's about knowing that the choices we make right now, the, the things we're doing right now, matter. That it doesn't matter if you've made really, really bad choices. It doesn't matter. Okay? It doesn't matter if you've made some really dumb choices. It doesn't matter. It matters what we do today. You can thrive. You can make it. You don't have to be stuck. And a lot of people will tell you that you are and that you will and that you might. But that's not the deal. The deal is if you start eating better, you're going to feel better. If you start exercising, you're going to feel better. If you start thinking better, you're going to feel better. That's the key. And don't anyone don't let anyone tell you anything different. you got to focus on what you can do, not what you can't do. That is what it's all about. Let's go to John on the phones. Hey, John, welcome. Question I have is, he talks about yes. almond nuts and walnuts all the time. I'm just wondering if salt on them bothers you, and I'm being roasted bothers you. I'm actually a big salt fan. So you're asking about salt and, and having it on foods. They're making a lot of the nuts now. Well, first of all, when you eat nuts, you want to make sure. I, I'm a big fan of doing that. Uh, the reason is there's studies out now. I, I've no matter what day goes by, I make sure I get two handfuls of nuts in. Period. And uh, just so you know, my own rule of thumb is I do two two handful of nuts a day and one full avocado. No matter and some fish oil. So those happen uh, no matter what. When I travel, no matter what I do, uh, I make sure that happens because two handful of nuts every single day, walnuts, al- almonds, whatever it is will reduce and keep your belly fat down, targeted belly fat, up to 6%. And so there's been numerous studies done on that, and it's pretty amazing how that works. So then your avocado is good for prostate health and men's health, and it's just good overall. Great antioxidants, blah, blah, blah. So the key is with salt is that your adrenal glands are your body's stress glands. And if, for example, nuts now they're making with sea salt rather than roasted in oil with a bunch of chlorinated salt, which you want to stay away from. So if it's got sea salt with it, yes. If you want to get raw nut or almonds and walnuts, mix them up at home in a bag, throw some sea salt in there, that's great. But salt is, they're finding out now that it's not as bad as we thought if it's the right kind because real salt, like pink salt, Himalayan pink salt, Celtic sea salt, has minerals in it. And has minerals that our body actually needs. And so when we get those kind of nutrients, it makes a tremendous difference in our overall health. So I just want you to be encouraged with that by itself. Because that does. It makes a big, big difference with with what we're talking about here. Anyway, one big key, too, that you want to look at, especially with salt, is don't just salt your foods randomly. But you can do things like celery. Celery juice has a naturally occurring salt to it. Our adrenal glands which are body stress glands, our energy levels are, are needed. Matter of fact, I always challenge people. If you drink coffee all the time and you do that for energy in the morning, come off coffee for a week and just drink uh, like, a, like a broth, like a chicken broth or beef broth or stocks, you know, the stocks. Heat them up and make that your warm drink in the morning. You're thinking, ugh, you know, if you're used to like coffee and creamer and all that, Sounds gross. Do that, though. You're giving yourself. Now, if you have really high blood pressure and your doctor's told you not to do this, then check with them first. But if you don't have any blood pressure issues, you should be fine. So the key is, or kidney issues, the key is the salt naturally occurring in the stocks, where you can get vegetable stock if you want to do this, can help build the adrenal glands. And when you do the salt in the morning, you may find that through the hydration of water and the broth, And the salt, it stimulates the adrenals, and you feel fantastic. Many times that is the case. So you might want to do that little test and see. A lot of times people are just deficient, and they don't even know it. 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. Give us a call or go to the website. Whatever you're struggling with, remember, if the body can get sick, it can also get well. It's about lifestyle. So our choices we make every single day, they matter. If you got a lingering cough that's been sticking around, they've been seeing that a lot lately. And what's happening is they're saying, of course, at Loyola University, they did some studies and they said there's really strong cases of the common cold virus leading to bronchitis. And it could get in, turn into pneumonia, which is serious. But symptoms of bronchitis, which is a serious disorder of the lower respiratory tract, is fever, chills, chest congestion, and productive cough that lasts more than five days. So the cough can last two to three weeks, 
and can be an indicator of a more serious condition. And they say if symptoms persist for more than seven to 10 days, you want to see a healthcare provider and look into some form of medical treatment. The reason is, now remember, if it's a virus, you can't really treat it with antibiotics. So the doctor can check and see if it's viral or bacterial. And you can also tell by the phlegm that comes up, by the way. If the phlegm is on the green and brown side, it's viral. If it's bright yellow, kind of that chunky yellow, then it's bacterial. Okay, that's typical. Now, that's not always the case, but that's a good rule of thumb that we use as indicators to be able to look at that. But definitely go see your doctor. Uh, Remember, there's some good at-home remedies that are really good to build the immune system. Ionic silver is really good. A lot of vitamin C. You can see that. Find that at your health food stores and that sort of thing. I like the ionic silver better than the colloidal silver. It works really well, but it's a strong antiviral and antibiotic. People have been using it for years and getting great results. Building the immune system, stay off the sugar, stay off the white flour, the bread products and all that to build the immune system up, get it stronger. And zinc, don't forget zinc. It is a big one. We're very deficient in zinc. We don't get enough. The more stressed out we are, the more we burn through our zinc. So we need that. So getting the right tools can make a big difference in the immune system. But it's another hour in the charts. I want to thank our producer, Jay Patrick, engineer John Garrison, and the rest of the team. Go tell one person something you learned on the show. Together, we can transform the health of our friends, our families, and our communities. You're listening to the show that helps you get well, stay well, and live well. RX audio experience on Spotify and Pandora for all the ways to watch and listen. Check out our show page at asarx.com slash experience. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to asarx.com and get your free book today. This episode is over, but check episode notes for links to products and services you've heard about on this episode. Thanks for listening and subscribing. Please share the ASA RX audio experience with others and stay in touch by giving us your comment or review.